The following story contains adult themes and depictions of violence and trauma. This podcast is not for children. Please be advised. Baby steps, really, Anne. Baby steps. It's been a couple of weeks since the rebellion stormed the castle. I took some much-needed time off to get some rest. There are times where it hurts, but each day I do better. Your Majesty? Your Majesty, are you awake? (laughs) Your Majesty? Is everything all right in there? Yes. Yes, Lady Anne. I'm sorry, I'm all right. I could have sworn I heard something. I'm sorry? I thought I heard someone. No, there isn't anyone here. My apologies. No need. Do you need anything, Lady Anne? I brought lunch for today. I wanted to see how you were holding up, Your Majesty. Thank you, Lady Anne. How have you been feeling, Lady Anne? I've been feeling a lot better as of recent. Lady Penelope took over your job temporarily. Yeah. I needed a rest for a bit. I'm glad you're back. I missed hearing your voice, dear. I'm honored. I missed visiting you. How's my son? I saw some people fighting outside the castle the other day. He's all right. He just had a small cut on his cheek. Oh, Zany. That's a cute nickname for him. You think so? Yeah, I do. His father hates it. But I think it's endearing. Mr. King sometimes needs a reminder that not everyone needs a proper title. It's interesting. What is? Your Majesty, if you don't mind me asking, how did you meet King Zareth? I don't mind telling. When I was a young girl, my family held a ball. My parents wanted me to find a husband. I was so confused about why anyone would want to marry a girl from a small kingdom. But... It's every girl's dream to marry Prince Charming, isn't it? I heard about tyrant kings coming from the mainland. I couldn't imagine being married to one. That night, I met Zareth. When he came out of the carriage, he looked like he came out of a storybook. Not only that, he was absolutely handsome. I remember when he came up. He did such an odd thing. He kneeled down and kissed my hand. It's so strange when someone comes from a different country, the different cultures that come with them. The royal family didn't seem very interested in the courtship between us. So, I was so surprised to find out a few months later that we were arranged in a marriage. I remember all the talk. Princess Rosalia of Maynick is to marry Prince Zareth of DuPont, was plastered almost everywhere. If you were a princess, why were you listed as a duchess? The royal hierarchy in Maylie is very different from the one here. Dukes and duchesses are like kings and queens of small areas. The emperor is the king above all kings. Was it a different system? It was. When I met Zarus, it was like love at first sight. He was so sweet, kind, and charming. Every time we touched hands, it felt like my heart would burst. The first time he kissed me, It it was like time slowed in that moment. When he brought me to DuPont, it was like nothing I've ever seen before. I was living in a storybook world. That's what it felt like to me. Having two beautiful children, a loving husband, living in a world of fantasy. What about now? How are things between you two now? Well, it's a story for another day. My apologies. I don't want to make it seem like I'm forcing you to answer. Pardon my curiosity, but I have something to ask of you. Of course. What do you think of my son? Zane? I only have one. I think that he's very kind, considerate, and sweet. He goes out of his way to help me and cheer me up when I need it. Do you think he's cute? Pardon? You heard me. Well... 
I do think he is quite attractive. He looks just like his father, from what I remember. What do you think? Would you court someone like him? I'm just a friend of his, your majesty. Nothing more? Well... The truth lies in your voice, dear. My apologies, your majesty. Why are you apologizing? I know that I shouldn't have feelings for your son, but I don't know how to describe the feeling in my chest. I've never felt so confused yet anxious. I can't describe the feeling. Something about him makes me feel that way. Every time I see him, my heart pounds with anticipation. I don't understand what's happening to me. Feelings are confusing, dear. It's hard to fully understand how you feel with everything going on. I'm sorry. Please don't apologize. I'm glad my son has someone like you in his life. Your Majesty? Hmm? Do you think... No, that's a stupid question. Ask away. Is your son interested in me in any way? I can't say, honestly. I don't get to speak with my son often. However, he does speak of you fondly. It's not like him to really let people into his life. I wish he did, honestly. I wouldn't mind if the two of you courted. Your Majesty, is there anything else you need? I'm quite all right, Lady Anne. Then I must be going. Wait, really, Anne? Your Majesty? If my son has said anything harsh to you, please forgive him. Of course, Your Majesty. Thank you. Am I... Am I in love with him? <laughs> oh, Zany! What's the matter, Mother? I just talked to Rillian. You did? Yes, I just did. What did she say? We just talked about you, and if a certain someone would be interested in courting. Isn't this wonderful news? It is, Mother. It's great news. What's wrong? Nothing. I, I, I'm fine, Mother. Oh, Zany, do you feel anxious? No, no, just excited. That's all. That's love for you. I'm going to have to get down before they start looking for me, Mother. Okay, dear. Please be careful. I love you, Zane. I love you too, Mother. I don't understand it. Why do I feel this way about him? It's more than looks. Well, he is attractive, I can't deny that, but something about him just draws me closer. Is it the hair? I do like men with dark hair. I think that it gives them a more mysterious look. Is it the eyes? Zane's eyes are a pretty sage color. They stare at me with such calm intensity. He has a very sharp yet strict look to him, but there's something always kind and inviting about his eyes. Is it the face? He's a very attractive man. So calm and attentive. It's rare to see him smile, but when he does, it lights up his entire face. As attractive as his features are, he always looks tired. Worn out, I mean, it's rare that he gets to genuinely rest. Is it the body? This isn't Jacob. I couldn't be lusting over him. I've never seen his body. I've only seen maybe his hands or his arms. He's fairly fashionable. He's always wearing a different outfit each time I see him. They fit his figure quite well. He seems well put together on the outside. I can't say that it's anything particularly physical. It's what's on the inside that counts. He's quite intelligent, witty, even exotic at times. He doesn't let money go to his head despite living such a lavish lifestyle. He was scary to meet at first, but on the inside, he's truly sweet. He can be a little awkward at times, but he goes out of his way to help people. I can't just court him, though. Really, Anne, stop being stupid. I'm just a common woman. Why would he want me? Shh. 
something, anything to calm my nerves. I just can't concentrate anymore. My thoughts are just flooded with her. I can't just approach her anymore. I'm out of excuses. I'm scared that I'll mess up any chance I could possibly have with her. <sighs> Minervia, what do I do? I can't just tell her this type of thing. How can I convince her? No. How do I make her remember? Is it a smoking pipe? It's something like it. Can I do it? Are you sure? It's a lot stronger than Where what do I normally smoke here. Memories flooded in. It doesn't hurt to try. The night of the ball. All right. I remember Just now. Don't hurt yourself. Zane smokes. That smoke is from Zane. Me being the idiot I am, I took a hit. It smells exactly the same. That familiar scent of tobacco. I remember how badly that burned the back of my throat. He took me in after I ended things with Jacob. We sat down, talked, drank. Oh, goddess, I drank so much. He talked about piano and knowing how to dance. Yeah. After I threw out that ring, he danced with me. It's all blurry, but he held me against his chest as he danced with me in the falling snow. We went inside and danced more, spinning around the room. It all feels like a dream. He held me in his arms as I cried over Jacob and the mysterious stranger. I used Jacob as a replacement for... He... Oh, goddess! He was the mysterious stranger all along. His name is Zane de Monte. He was the suitor at the festival. How couldn't I have put that together? Oh, Inyo. He kissed me? I remember the feeling of his lips against mine. The warm, everlasting tingle of that one kiss. We pulled away and I remember seeing his face. The cute nervousness of my suitor at the festival. It all came together. The dancing, showing me the best part of the village. The most joy I felt in a long time. I kissed him back after he apologized to me. I also remember, oh goddess, throwing up off the balcony. And you that's embarrassing. Wait a minute. The jacket. The shiny dark cyan color, the gold embellishments, the scent of Zane's cologne. It was all real. He escorted me back to my old room where I was lulled asleep by the sound of a piano. Wait, no, he was the one playing the piano. He must have also written that note. Oh, goddess, it makes so much sense now. That's why Queen Rosalia wanted to know what I was to her son. It was him all along. Oh, and you cast your light of love and war before me. What do I do? Is it really okay for me to be doing this? How do I tell him? Oh, goddess. How am I supposed to tell him? He must remember, mustn't he? When I told him I didn't remember, he had a sad look in his eyes telling me he didn't remember much either. He has to know. But I can't just confront him. Ah! I got it. I'll court him. Your Royal Highness, I believe you understand what this meeting is about. I believe I do. This marriage is against protocol. How is this even allowed? Du Point did it. Not I. The King. You're past the age of arranged marriages. They can't just force you into one now. It's not only unfair to you, but it's unfair for the rest of us. We are stuck between two options. 
war against Kilahara, or war against DuPont. I'd consider Kilahara to be the easier choice. Hey! Sorry, but it's true. Warring against my father would be an awful idea. Agree. What brought this marriage on? The need for more political power. I see. Why, though? Kilahar is powerful enough. Look no further than the queen to be. Your Royal Highness, what action do you suppose we take? We must remain steadfast. Until my father comes home declaring the legitimacy of this marriage, then we take action. If we act now, we can get this over with. If we act now, they'll catch on. We need to be careful if we don't want our heads boiled and put on a pike. What would be the best course of action to take when the time comes? The marriage, of course. been waiting for today. If she can't remember through today, then she won't be able to remember. Is this... weird? No, this isn't weird. It's pretty strange. No! This is a gift for someone's birthday. The room. It's full of roses. They are the remaining ones from the winter. I reserved a sitting room for this event. Just me and her. The remaining roses that weren't trampled or destroyed were brought to this room. The fragile white made the cyan walls look lively. The room was adorned with them, their petals occasionally dropping. A small glass table sat in the center of the room with a perfect view of the open balcony. A white tablecloth sat upon its smooth exterior with a vase sitting in the center. Oh, Minervia, the truest goddess of love. Cast aside Beatrice and show the world your purity. Be not a false prophet and guide me to your bright light. Within the limelight of purity, beseech me from this deep darkness that my heart has been caught in. of your own. Maybe I was wrong to cast you aside. It was foolish of me to denounce you without having faith in you. I see now. I've seen it for a while. You do exist. Whether it's in Argus or within Enyo, your presence still reigns. Take your rightful throne. The two of you were able to exist without destroying Gaia. I see that now. If I am truly evil, and Rillian is as pure as she is, we're able to coexist with one another. Goddess, I sound like a madman. If I'm a madman, so be it. If I'm as evil as this country makes me, so be it. If I'm the only person that is capable of loving Rillian, so be it. I'll show them what it's truly like to mess with war and death. I just need her by my side. Today is my birthday. Well, it would have been. Today is the day I turned 24. I'd rather not spend it alone. It's quite sad to think about no one remembering your birthday. But that's alright. For now, at least. The sun was setting into a beautiful purple. The skies are always beautiful here. 
Lady Anne of Arendoyle? Lady Anne of Arendoyle? Yes? Yes, I'm coming. Are you Lady Anne? Yes, I am. You're Kisame, right? Oh, I'm really glad you know my name. You know, it would have been really awkward if you didn't. <laughs> Do you need anything? Actually, I'm here to escort you. Escort? Yup. Where? I can't disclose that kind of information. Oh, my lady. Well, all right. Right this way, my lady. Hey, how old are you? Me? Uh, I'm 19. You're 19? It's a bit hard to tell at first, but yeah. I'm fresh out of the academy. You know, I graduated at top of my class. How does Zane find these types of people? All of his mercenaries come from different walks of life. Here's our first destination, Lady Anne. There you are! Welcome back! Thanks? I have something nice for you today. Okay? Here, put this on. Uh... How do I... Oh, right! You aren't one of my ladies. Don't look. Didn't plan on it, Koyo. So... You're Koyo? Koyo, Koyumi, I'm okay with either. Okay. There we go, my lady. Please, take a seat. <laughs> Kisu, what in Vitri's name are you doing? Can I look yet? I swear, the things they teach you at the academy. Can I look yet? It's like all you guards are meatheads trying to take orders. Koyomi? What? Can I turn around yet? Go ahead. Oh, goddess. You look beautiful. Thank you. Neutral tones would look the best for the eyes. Maybe a red lipstick. Oh, right. <laughs> I can't forget the jewelry. Jewelry? Oh, <laughs> forgot the hair. Perfect. She's ready. I'm sorry. I'm a bit lost. Lost? I appreciate all the work you've done on me, but I can't afford this. <laughs> oh, oh, Lady Anne, you're quite a riot. I'm serious. I can't afford this. Kisu, do you hear this girl? I'm sorry. Where are you going? I'm so sorry, gotta run people to do things to see. I'm sorry about that. You know, I don't really like going around here either. What's her problem? You know, I think that all the mercury in the hats that she makes has finally gone to her brain. I really can't afford this, though. Why are you taking me to all these places? <laughs> Paying for it to be the least of your concerns right now. Well, up ahead is your final destination. I'm so confused. Don't worry, Lady Anne. This is a good thing. You promise? Promise. Okay. I trust you. I believe that this is as far as I can go. Where do I go, then? Go through the door, keep walking straight, and, uh, you'll know when you find it. Okay. Kiss me. My lady? Thank you. Don't worry about it. Just do my job. Is this for me? It is. Ah! You scared me. My apologies. I didn't mean to. For the first time, I felt it. I was no longer with Zane. No. I was with the mysterious stranger. I could feel my heart start to pound. Each beat would push harder and harder into my chest. It's like I couldn't breathe. Happy birthday, really, Anne. I don't know what happened, but a rush of emotions came over me. I wanted to laugh, 
cry, scream. Someone actually remembered my birthday. How did you remember? We keep birthdays on file. You do this for everyone? Not everyone. <laughs> hey, now, don't cry. Not on your birthday. You're too beautiful to be crying on a day like this. His words struck like an arrow through my heart. With each one, my heart pounded faster and faster. Oh, you're blushing. Did I embarrass you? No, no. I'm okay. Do you need some water? I'm all right, really. Well, come now. I have a few surprises for you. What do you think? I've never been hungrier in my entire life. <laughs> I have water this time, just in case. I remember now. Now is the best time to do it, if any. Is something on your mind? Can we talk about it after dinner? Of course. You can eat, you know. I know. I'm just admiring your beauty. My beauty? You look absolutely stunning. Almost ethereal. You really think so? Mademoiselle, you're a goddess among men. Your beauty is worth going to war for. <laughs> Thanks. No need. You know, it is my first time really seeing your hair up. What do you think? Wearing it up is normally for formal events. I love how your hair cascades down your shoulders. No, no. It's quite alright. You look beautiful nonetheless. I could feel my confidence rise with every sentence. I don't know what got into him, but he was much more flirty than usual. So, I wanted to talk about something. Yes, I remember. What's on your mind, mademoiselle? I wanted to talk to you uh, uh, about... About? Well, I, I remember... Remember what? What? What do you remember? Well, remember how we had that conversation the night after the ball? I do. So you remember the ball? I, I do. Then what? What? What else do you remember? I got drunk and we danced around the room. The light sound of classical music echoed within the halls. I do remember that. It started to snow as well, and it looked very beautiful. You almost slipped and fell. Right. And I... Are you embarrassed to say it? Not embarrassed, I just... I don't know how you'll react. Then turn away and say it. It may be better than looking at me. I, I remember that I had feelings for you. I didn't know that you were the mysterious man that I fell in love with long ago. We kissed. Twice. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have done it. You're the prince. I'm just some commoner. You shouldn't be wasting your time on someone like me. I can't keep doing this forever, can I? I couldn't look at him. Not in the eyes. Really, Anne? Yes? Do you still feel the same way about me? Please, be honest. Yes. I do. I knew what was going to happen next. Rejection. The most painful type. Any minute now, I could hear those heartbreaking words come out of his mouth. Every worry I had slipped away. The warmth behind his kiss could make me melt. The powerful scent of his cologne was intoxicating. The faint taste of alcohol on his lips. Then please... Really, Anne? Stay with me? I'll stay. 
as mine. As yours. My heart could burst at this very moment. Mine could too. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you in the beginning. You knew? Yes, I did. I just can't do what you just did. And why is that? I'm not the best at expressing my feelings. You know very well how to express them. I almost let her slip away. I couldn't control the feelings in my chest. I don't think it could have gripped my heart any harder. Vodka? Vodka? What is that? It's an import from another kingdom. I can pour you a glass if you'd like. Yes, I would like that. Really, Anne? Oh, sorry. I zoned out. Dreamily staring at your partner, I see. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Oh, no. Hand me the glass. I think I do want you to get started. No, you don't. How now? <laughs> How do you suppose I reached that? Tell me those thoughts in that beautiful mind of yours. Only if you tell me yours. Get me drunk enough and I will. I suppose I can outdrink you. Really, Anne, do you remember what happened last time? I was sad. That doesn't count. <laughs> Test it before you try to best me in my drinking abilities. There's absolutely no way you can drink that entire glass. Dearest, I've done it multiple times before. All you drink is tea. There's no way. During the day, maybe. <coughs> oh god, is that strong. Still want to best me, really? Maybe not. But I'm curious to see you drunk. I may or may not be. Who knows? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, god, is that burns. Why did you do that? I thought that might convince you to drink as well. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't help it. You're too cute. Number two. How can you still maintain professionalism while drinking? It's simple. Royals start drinking young at social parties. I do find your low tolerance quite adorable. It's starting to get to you, isn't it? Shush your royal mouth. <laughs> You're quite the enigma, aren't you? How you manage to wrap me around your finger is quite curious, isn't it? Wait, I... I know you don't mean harm, really, yet. I just never thought I'd be able to see you again. Well, here I am. Here you are, indeed. Hmm? You're getting to that point, aren't you? Dearest, we haven't even gotten started. If this is how you're acting on two glasses, I want to see how honest you can be. Another glass, really, Anne? Of course. It'd be wise of you to carefully drink. What? Hm. Oh, come now. Don't be like that. Say it, and it's yours. Then kiss me. I'm at your command, my lady. You know, you still haven't touched your food. Well, maybe I'm not hungry. Zane, what are you doing? I believe that this dress would look much better if you truly looked like yourself. I thought I could trust Koyomi to get it right. She was quite rude to me earlier. I thought I had to pay for this, and I told her that I couldn't afford it. What are you talking about? I didn't know what was happening, so I thought that I had to pay for the dress. I told Kisame to tell you. Why did he keep it a secret? I think he wanted to surprise me. Interesting. But Koyomi laughed at me because I couldn't afford it. No one can. What? 
I'm the only person in this country that can afford something like this. Why? You haven't seen it? Well, no, I was rushed out of the room because she offended me. Mm, I understand now. Come now. I want you to see this work of art. Is this really me? This dress is absolutely beautiful. It's not the dress I'm talking about. I've planned this outfit ever since our time at the ball. All you wear are those drab uniforms. I wanted your true color to shine through. Don't ever worry about money with me. Nothing is ever too much, and nothing is ever too little. If you want something, it's yours. Oh, Goddess Rillian, we need to get you back to your room. What? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. It's getting late, and you have work, don't you? Not tomorrow, but honestly, I am a bit tired now that you mention it. <sighs> Shall we? Are we lost? No, no. This is just where we're gonna stay for the night. This place looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's... designed that way. Comfy? Comfy. Her eyes slowly closed, drifting away into a peaceful sleep. With each step I took, my world spun. How fun. Doing a little drinking competition like that. Goddess, I feel like I could throw up. I felt brain dead. My body felt tired, lazy. It's been an exhausting day. I looked over, seeing Rillianne sound asleep. She looked so peaceful, so lovely, so pure. Finally, you are mine. Hi there. Like that. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi there. It's us together. I'm Giselle. And I'm Seo. And we are Chapter are 15 we? Studios. A am I supposed to say it too? Well, never mind. We can do like a three, two, one type thing. Okay, we are three, two, one. Chapter, Chapter 15, 15 studios. studios. Yeah, that did. That was really good. In case you're wondering why we're here, if you haven't checked the date, it's been one year. One year. Aren't you excited? <laughs> it's been one year since the initial release of He Who Forsakes the Crown. Yay! So we just wanted to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you. For being here and for listening. And for listening. There's so many things that can happen within a year. Say, so why don't you talk about some of the things that happened this year? I fucking died. There was a hurricane. Yep, there was definitely a hurricane. Started college, you know, immediately got hit with a hurricane. Graduated high school. Yep, took several years off of my life. But now we're here. Yeah. At the end of my first year of college. Uh-huh. What a ride. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> we're not trying to waste your time again we're just saying thank you yeah yeah we um, love you please keep listening we love please. you please keep listening please. Please. uh your unwavering support 
is what keeps me waking up every morning. Please keep listening to the podcast. Every time I open Anchor and see 49 estimated listeners, please. I shed a few tears. I have a family, please. Um, I really don't want to get a job at the California Grill. So if you guys could continue listening. I also don't want to have a day job. Please listen to the podcast. Please tell, send it to your friends. Support us on Patreon. We don't have a Patreon. But we could. We could if more people listened. Get some exclusive art. Mm-hmm. And maybe some exclusive back behind the computer content like this. Because you could see Seo and I are amazing entertainers. We're so entertaining. Yes. I don't know if you've noticed, but we have a podcast. Yeah. But genuinely, genuinely, thank you for listening. This this podcast has been a quarantine baby, and we are committed to taking care of it. Yes, our child. As long as you listen, she will grow up. Or he. Or they. They will grow up. They. It. Okay, I feel like it's a little rude. <laughs> just a little uh, that's subjective anyway <laughs> once again thank you so much um Th- thanks for watching dad yeah my dad doesn't listen my dad doesn't talk to me let's do the credits <laughs> to thank everyone who's been working with us because we ap- appreciate them so greatly we're gonna read out their names a special thank you to all of you. Here's the cast of He Who Forsakes the Crown. Eric Smith as Zane DeMonte. Julia Orisborn as Rillianne Duvon. Chara Lynn as Seo Kokina. Ranger H. Fox as Argus. Levi Coulter as Leah. Zoe Absher as Catalina Hoyer and Cynthia Severine. Ray Walker as Yuri Nathaniel. Nick Richardson as Jacob Wyndham. Andrew Bonilla as Kisame Coswell. Veronique Rose as Katayan Massacret. Rodrigo Tamayo as Kuro Nakano. Sabrina May as Riley Vasiliev. Choki Sama and EJ Jesus as Sarimento. Cassius Hodges as Wolfsbane. Sim- Elissa Young as Amisha Severin. Scott J. Zimmerman as King Zareth Damonte. Bella Cherish as Rosalia Damonte and Catalina Oyer. Rin Uzuki as Prince Vincent Navarro. Michael Naiman as Prince Aspen Kimura. Gauntlet Knight as Princess Iris Kimura. And Lost Boy V.O. as Damien Kyrie. We Once hope you again. enjoyed the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Once again. Thank you. Thank you. We we love you. Give me a kiss, baby. Okay, that's enough. (laughs)